this is five times more than the control. And you count it here? Exactly. Yeah? During embryogenesis, there is a very special cell type called inner cell mass of the blastocyst. These cells have enormous potential to develop to any type of body cells. We call them pluripotent stem cells. Although pluripotency is a very short period during uh, development, uh, we have the opportunity to take these cells and use them to establish artificial stem cell cultures that can be maintained long term. These pluripotent stem cell cultures have enormous potential in regenerative medicine. For some reason, mouse and human pluripotent stem cell cultures differ from each other tremendously. While the mouse pluripotent stem cell lines can give rise to a fetus, none of the human uh, lines are able to do that. Second, the human pluripotent stem cells seem to have a limited differentiation potential even if the cells are uh, established by the same technique. So my laboratory is working with transposable elements. We are all very fascinated by the recently communicated and very surprising observation that almost half of the human genome consists of transposable element derived sequences. Although only a fraction of these elements are actively jumping, the rest of the genome was thought like a junk DNA. So our recent work uh, is challenging the junk DNA theory. So while most of these elements are really uh, not mobile, it doesn't mean they are silent. So we uh, observed that a family of ancient retroviral uh, elements get uh, reactivated transcriptionally in the inner cell mass of the blastocyst. These retrovirus-derived sequences belong to an ancient family of Earth age that invaded during the private evolution around 30 million years ago and generated a couple of thousands of copies that were scattered throughout the genomes. Earth age finished its active lifestyle around 10 million years ago. So we asked, what is the significance, if any, if ancient retrovirus sequences are expressed at the right space and time when one would, would expect to see uh, naive embryonic stem cells? The answer to this question was recently published in Nature. Transcriptome analysis of human pluripotent stem cells revealed that herb age functions as a new regulatory unit and completely restructures the human transcriptome. Hervich binds key pluripotent transcription factors and drives numerous novel transcripts. So these transcripts can be chimeric transcripts between Hervage and different cellular genes, or rise several long non-coding RNAs and can contribute even to form new novel human-specific genes. The function of this uh, transcript is to uh, support self-renewal of the pluripotent stem cells and inhibits the differentiation. So the pluripotency network driven by Herfetch is uh, primate specific, which could uh, partially explain why uh, regulatory networks in mouse and human pluripotent state are basically different. This was exciting to illustrate uh, that this partnership exists between host factors and uh, ancient retroviral invaders. Uh, the way they got evolved during primate evolution is uh, still debatable and something to work on in future. In our recently published review at the Bioassays, brought together with Lawrence Hurst and Dixie Mager, we ask why such events occur repeatedly during evolution. One would expect that uh, mechanisms as important as pluripotency should be uh, species-specific. Well, this is not the case. Uh, the regulatory networks of pluripotency is highly species-specific. Curiously, we found a gene, which is ESRG, uh, embryonic stem cell regulatory gene. The entire sequence of ESRG is uh, covered by Herfetch viral sequence. So, so because of the genes like ESRG, uh, we might think that the pluripotency network could be even unique to us, humans. Using a reporter system that made cell expressing Hervetch glow green, we successfully identify one cell subpopulation from human ESL culture. That 
uh, share the, all of homeworks with the naive mouse ear cells. Unexpectedly, we found that these naive-like cells also exist in heterogeneous uh, uh, human cultures. And very importantly, we can use the reporter to tag and enrich human pluripotent stem cell cultures to derive naive-like stem cell cultures. Using the knowledge based report system, the next task will be to optimize the culture condition for long-term culturing of human-like stem cells.